supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. This supposed to be a moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? Fuck it. Chicken looks amazing. Nigga, you weird bitch. These microtransactions, you gotta buy this, buy that, buy this, to buy that, to buy this, to buy this, to buy this, to put a ponytail on your guy. If you are not Drake, or if you're not an NBA player, if you're not Quavo, they are not listening to you. This is mm. driving me nuts! He's not feeding me! It's the fucking connection! What 2K is this? Bro, what the fuck? Is this 2K20 or some shit? Guys, I still post Rage Tages. They're on my second channel, bro. Go look. I have like 44, my nigga. Dead ass. Just as good. Hey, where's the talent in the industry that wants to make a sick ass basketball game that's competitive? NBA 2K is one of the largest genres on YouTube. Well, first Bro, this nigga's in a forest again, bro. What's up with this nigga, bro? Chris Move My Career video quickly evolved into a Does he got a weapon? Content creators. So let's talk about why everyone's leaving and what 2K could do to help solve it. Three months ago, everybody was ecstatic. All we could talk about is <laughs> next gen possibilities. NBA 2K21 next gen. Now everyone's disappointed, and we remember the jump from PS3 to PS4, NBA 2K13, that shit NBA was 2K14. Trash. Everybody was expecting massive improvements, both graphically and in terms of gameplay. So what went wrong? Why is everybody unhappy with the game, and why have people stopped playing? I feel like there's a lot of reasons people have lost interest in 2K, gameplay, but it bitch. begins with expectations. It seems like every single time they come out with some grand feature the way they did in 2K18 with the neighborhood and 2K21 with the city, something goes drastically wrong. And in this case, gameplay failed to deliver. So let's talk about what 2K promised and what they didn't deliver. What they promised was a transformative gaming experience, a city, a grand city. You can interact with AI and they give you challenges. You can play with can your hear? on the garage and there's a new rent. Can y'all hear or no? Can everybody hear cool? I guess it's just thotties. It's a core feature. There's gonna be flooded with people and you can play wherever you wanted. In reality, none of that was the case. You couldn't mm, play wherever you wanted. Exposed these niggas. people could enter the city. There were server issues out the ass. You were playing on two- How bad do y'all think 2K hates Agent, man? How bad y'all think, man? Because other, like, other like big channels they don't even play 2k so they're not gonna like make vids like this like agent really the only one like left with like a decent outreach bro everybody else just sucks dick bro what you mean they don't give a fuck nigga this hurts their business it makes them look bad nigga what you talking about Yeah, but most of most of them niggas they be dick sucking, especially all them niggas with logos. Ho ass niggas. Sperm, shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't know, like a week ago, bro. Egg whites are regular. Definitely regular, bro. Bro, it's been since sixteen, bro. Sperm. I remember, bro, when I first met Agent, bro, we was playing six. Were we playing 16? No, it had to be 17. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 17, bro. He been making them hoes. What's good, Juice? 
two frames per second, and all of the challenges the AI gave you were a Bro, task. Bro, that shit clearly bothers them, nigga. That's the whole point of them making a fucking marketing team with logos. Nigga, do you know why logos exist? To control the narrative, the perspective, nigga. You're, you're basically incentivizing influencers to not talk shit about the game and to praise it, nigga, and suck its dick. And to put a carrot stick for other influencers to not talk shit and be real about the game so they can, like, get a logo. That's the whole point of a logo, nigga. And the whole point is to fucking, like, it's to basically, y'all know, like, the music industry, right? It's like, what's the word? Industry plants. They're, they're trying to create industry plants, bro, basically. Like, they're trying to make people. That's why they're doing shout-outs on their channel, or Ronnie is, or whatever. That's why they're, like, giving niggas logos to try and, like, juice niggas and people that are, like, like dick-sucking them. They're, they're trying to help them get in a better position to control the narrative, bro. You know? They trying to make industry plants. They're trying to make industry plants, bro. Because they see, like, the, the OG or two big niggas like that. That's the whole reason it exists. So, of course, they care about a nigga like Agent, man. I'm trying to tell you. Semen and sperm, bro. It's all a marketing tactic, bro. Industry plants, my nigga. I know it's big brain, my nigga. Y'all gotta start calling these niggas with logos industry plants, nigga. That nobody enjoyed playing. That on top of the plenty of glitches that would keep you from joining games and getting into the same <laughs> city as your friends. The overall experience was hindered by, lack of a better word, incompetence. And NBA 2K delivered what they always do at launch a bad product. Again, it's about expectations. When NBA 2K21 current gen came out, everyone's expectations were low. So when the game dropped, regardless of how bad it was, people played and people were fine with it. It only lasted two months. So when next gen came out, with everybody's expectations sky high and 2K <coughs> failing to deliver the entire first month. I remember I was complaining about current gen, bro, and everyone would say to me, bro, everyone would say to me, like, thousands of comments hundreds of tweets bro like sh stream shit private dms they're like shut the fuck up the game's only two months they did amazing they made two 2ks next gen's gonna be amazing that's where they put all their time and focus the game come out is fucking terrible just like i've been telling niggas i told niggas it was gonna be like this no one listened no one listened. I told everyone. I told them, bro. I'm like, why the fuck is a center with no ball handling speed boosting worse than it's ever been? Nigga, there's literally paint beasts, stretch bigs, fucking perimeter locks moving as fast as a guard. They can speed glitch. It's not being patched. Nobody cared. It's okay. I don't understand. I don't know. Being unplayable. Yeah, people were unhappy and they left. So I was a little curious to find <laughs> out why both 2K Great players and content creators were actually going back to current gen and having fun. I think content creators are playing current gen instead of next gen because in my opinion, current gen is a good game. No, it's not. You stupid ass bitch. Shut the fuck up. You don't even play it. Like, you don't even know. The gameplay feels better, it's not sluggish, it's faster. Your mother's a pussy bones. On next gens. Plus, more people have current gen. The audience can relate way more to current gen. Instead. It's for views, Davis, just be honest. Next gen. I personally think that the content is there, but it's not completely there. Everything they did, I feel like was good intent, but just not good execution. I don't think, I don't think niggas know what content is. There's no content in any 2K. People think content is when views do good i think that that's what they mean but there's there's like no content like niggas ain't this like doing the uh the little events and shit like there's there's no content
I don't know. I don't I don't think niggas know what content means, bro. I don't know why niggas say that, but it's like in this day and age fucking uh niggas say a game have content if like views are good and shit. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Thanks, Cal Calvin. Wagers are content? No. They're not, bro. That's not gameplay content. People are making that content. That's not that has nothing to do with 2K. It's not like 2K has a built-in wager system with VC. That's content on the game. Niggas are creating their own content because the game's so bad. They're putting up their own money because the game's so bad. There's no VC wagering. There's no money wagering, player wagering, overall wagering. There's not actual content in the game, nigga. Oh, God. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, they need to hire more developers. That goes without saying. And there's no point of doubling, tripling down on that because... I'm the hardest on every 2K, my nigga. I appreciate you, bro. Where's Ticino? I don't know. Ain't he with his uh bitch? I don't know, bro. He's not doing it. They make billions of dollars off this game every single year, but yet the game still is understaffed. The game still releases underprepared, and they spend the first few months of every game's launch trying to fix it. But more than that, they need to make the actual experience of Instead game of baby better creams. at the game and being rewarded for it infinitely more enjoyable. As of right now, you throw lobs and flashy passes and fade at every imaginable opportunity. That's not content, Harden. That's not a good gaming experience. I have fun when I play next. Bro, all the events, niggas just cheat on them, bro. Like, niggas don't actually, I don't know, bro. Mm-hmm for occasion anytime i just want to get on a recorded video that's fun i do not have fun trying to grind for a level and try to get rewards because the rewards are same and there's no ticino ain't quitting on youtube bro but that nigga probably i i i don't know what i don't know what the fuck that nigga doing bro why don't y'all ask that nigga what, what's the last thing he tweeted absolute initiative to play for a long term and that's what video games are about. I think the biggest problem with 2K21 is that they need to make things less inconvenient. The way that the gameplay is, um, the way that the whole shape of like the park or neighborhood, whatever they're calling it, like all that stuff is just massively inconvenient. They need to make it way more easy and simpler. They need to go back to mention the 50% to restructure from there. But I do believe a lot of the things that are in the game is just way too convoluted. What do you think went wrong with uh, convoluted? What, what do you think went right? <laughs> oh, oh, you don't want to say anything? You asked a question to my question. I did exactly that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, uh, seriously. What, what went right? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So not much. First things first. Big 2K, brain, you Peter. need a skills gap in your basketball game. It goes without saying. And the fact that NBA 2K21 Next Gen is the least skilled version of the game that we've experienced in almost a decade is pathetic. When the game is easy to play, I actually feel like there's no reward to being good at it. And so when there's no reward to being good at the game, why would you play the game? <sighs> Everyone begins to cheese and just run the same sets. Everyone has the same players. Everyone got the same three builds. And everyone has the same exact play style. That's not fun. That's and it goes what I'm saying. There needs to be better rewards, 2K. I grind my ass off. I make it to legend. And that's all I get. People should be excited about grinding to a level because of all the new rewards and perks they're going to get. But, but instead, that jetpack was fucking annoying, bro. A lot of the bro. rewards are recycled from previous years. And the stuff they added new to NBA 2K21 Next Gen, well, they're dry. They need to do a better job of making the experience of leveling up and being rewarded for it fun, enticing, and enjoyable. Whisper, you missed the first video. He was in the forest with a ghillie suit with bow and arrows with a fucking bonnet on. Shit was crazy. Nigga tripping. That just takes more. Who was that white man, Jesser? Nah, man, that's Peter. <laughs> Peter with the heater. Hire more devs, 2K. You know, you've never actually gone a legend, right? Like, ever? I've never gotten like I played on a legend account though. It was underwhelming. Okay. I think a lot of content creators get tired of like the repetitiveness and they get tired of like not expecting anything new or different. Like if this is the same thing over and over and over again, 
I think it just takes it sucks the creative nature out of creating content mm. and if that ends up Big happening legend. you just find yourself in a rut and you realize like this is it for the entire year the entire lifespan mm. the reality is is 2k never that, that nigga legend speaking some facts <laughs> legend speaking facts launch is ready so let's look into the past to see what we could do in the future every single year when the game launches <laughs> there's something catastrophically stick. wrong it's we all good, rush though. to try and address it the devs get to it at some point in the first few weeks of the game's launch and the game becomes playable again how do we skip over that whole part so that the game just launches ready every single year one way to do it is just to have 2k working with multiple dev teams fly so me one out one year while someone's working on nba 2k 21 next gen there's a whole nother team working on nba who created the word content creators? Definitely people from another community. I used to think that shit was weird. I don't know, but um, it's used worldwide, even in that Instagram shit. I don't know. Trying to go crazy in a cave. Let's go. 2K22 next gen. That way the games come out more polished, but again, you need to hire more people for that to happen. When there's a yearly launch title and every single year they're being asked to come up with new content, do enough to make the game interesting, and that's across all the game modes. Probably like city, your brother, my Bulls. Team, Play Now Online, My NBA. That becomes almost impossible, and that seems like the most reasonable method that a lot of other dev teams have used to launch new <laughs> titles, <laughs> to come up with new good content and good products ready and prepared. Nigga really in a forest, bro. Uh, the rewards are terrible. The dribbling sucks. I don't, everything is, like, why, why is anybody play that game? How you feel about the lack of updates on 2K21 next year? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played the game in like a month and a half, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Tough. I think the views are down because of the same reason why content creators don't like to create the content. It's just, it's not creative. It's nothing new. There's no innovation there. There's nothing that's bringing me to the game that I haven't already seen in the past two or three years. It's essentially the same thing. Never it looks very it. similar. You know, the last two or three cycles. And to add on to that, 2K, you have to, and I mean absolutely have to, Come with game testers that are actually good at the game. When these game testers are awful at the game, it's gonna reflect in the oh game. God. It's gonna come out. Oh God! Broken. Get people to break your Big game preach. before the game comes out. Big it's preach. Come out a lot more Big preach. Gentlemen. Big the preach. Mentioning physics updates and changes is, is absolutely ridiculous because the game feels more stiff nah, than hearted. it ever has. I don't understand Facts. how. 2K14, 15, and 16 can feel so much more fluid. Oh, my like son. My son, David's out here preaching the gospel, man. I'm really proud of myself, man. A real actual player. And then a next generation game when they added physics and added all this more movement, you feel like... I, it feels like I'm literally playing Roblox when I play that game. That mm. is f***ing disgusting. Yo! Compare the difference to mine. Oh my god! Yo, I'm game. not looking, nigga. I haven't got my toes done in like. This shit is disgusting! Content creators are not posting this game anymore because content creators are not playing the game anymore. Once again, even though they're adding the city, the new stage, the new. Oh the my new vibes god, the that nigga low is really a fucking monster, bro. What the fuck? That nigga is a monster, bro. Holy shit, bruh. That nigga walking around with fucking claws his feet, bro. God damn, nigga. The fuck is going on? That nigga got Jeepers Creepers feet. <laughs> that nigga got... <laughs> nigga, what the fuck? There's no reason to play long term. Aesthetics can entertain me for the time being for one, two, maybe ten games. But I actually need to have a reason to play. So I think content creators are not posting because they're not playing. How do you feel about the level design in the city? I think I think it's pretty good. But it doesn't matter because the game's terrible. Mmm. Niggas talking shit, nigga. I like this shit. All that work for nothing, right? It's clear to me that the NBA 2K developers know what they're doing. If they didn't, the game will look a lot like NBA Live. But because it doesn't, and NBA 2K has dropped good basketball products multiple times in the last decade, I'm confident they could do it again. And with the next generation jump and 
all the new ceilings that they can do and all the new development tools at their disposal, we expected a lot. If you had one message for Ronnie, what would it be? Suck my dick. <laughs> Who's an undercover dickhead? <laughs> cut it out, cut it out. Don't be defensive. Don't don't be don't be so defensive. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Yo, nigga legend, legend of genius. That's a, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Bro, nigga start talking about the game. All these little fucking marketing team niggas, these devs, they they be like defend like instead of trying to like, hey, we're gonna try to do this to improve, they be like talking shit to the fucking community. Shit crazy, man. Basically Spanish. To be honest, they really talk shit to the community and they try to side with the community that talks shit about another side of the community type shit. Shit weird, bro. Hey, legend got a bitch. What you mean? The guy who read it on EJ gives logos. <laughs> head shape is crazy. What's wrong with his head shape, bro? What you talking about? Thing with Ronnie. I get it. He gets a lot of flack from different directions. And I do believe as a community, we should understand, like, that man ain't got nothing to do with, like, the actual creation of the video game itself. I definitely feel like, from a community standpoint, we should really take responsibility on how we communicate with Ronnie. But I do believe there's a lot of other ways. We need to go after the gameplay devs. And the guy been saying that shit. Niggas don't listen. Ronnie a wannabe streamer? Oh God, Ronnie collecting them bags, nigga. Things where he's just being mad defensive. He's he's putting on this, you know, this front as if like he's someone that we all know he's not, and it just makes it much more difficult for the community to communicate. Look at legend speaking facts. In the community, and from there, I do believe there's a disconnect between the two entities. So that's all this really was is just expectations being let down. NBA 2K. For current gen, nobody expected anything from you guys. And so people were happy with mediocre, or below mediocre, should I say. But with next gen, I don't know, look it up. Greatness. And so when we got mediocre, that's where the disappointment happened. And you could see it in the faces of the people that play the game every single day. <laughs> this and the content creators that weren't excited to hop on and play and record and upload themselves playing the game every day. And these are people that have been doing this for almost a decade giving up now. So you have to ask mm. yourself the question, what it is about what you did with NBA 2K21 Next Gen, mm. and it turned a lot of people off. And the answer is pretty clear. <laughs> so you started I was going with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> there are two big things that 2K can do to change their problems in their games. The first thing is make the game free. If you stop coming out with annual releases, which is the second <laughs> oh, thing, yeah. you will have. <laughs> nigga, iPod fit and lose some contracts, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he finna lose some contracts. He better chill. He said make 2K free. Have much more time to focus on said project. If 2K came out with one set game and they did season pass. I would love that shit. If 2K was free. And they did season passes. Y'all really don't get how bad 2K scams us. Because you've never like really played other games, bro. Like, like your whole life. Like, really think about that shit, bro. We buy the game. Then we got to upgrade all our players and shit. We used to have to buy separate clothes on each different player. We still got to do that with animations. In other games, bro, you just play, bro. And then if you want to get a season pass, you get some little cool clothes, shit like that. That's it. Like, but this shit, like, nigga, if you don't, you don't spend that guap, nigga, you ass. Or you're going to be grinding for hundreds of hours. That shit crazy, bro. And then they got the nerve to treat us like that when they finessing us. That shit crazy. 2K will never go downhill, bro. Y'all don't realize it, bro. Basketball's always gonna be one of the most popular sports in the world bro like y'all y'all don't get it and as long as basketball is popular and they have an mmo basketball game this shit always gonna be buzzing nigga <laughs> it, it doesn't matter bro 
and then no matter what content creators leave they will be replaced it might not be as big as no fucking call of duty and shit but that shit's still gonna be buzzing especially in the sports game spectrum nah T you need a gorilla Passes for every new season with updated material, updated maps, parks, cities, gear, That'd be all lit. of that. Within a four to six year span, they would do so much better. With this should have never they happened. Stop coming out with annual releases. Make the game free. Microtransactions are a thing. As long as they're cosmetic. You're they never gonna do stop that annual release shit, bro. That should give them so much money every year. That shit the way for the money. I ain't gonna lie. It's probably good for content creators too, because that's when the views start buzzing and shit like that. Um, games that really be just one and then four years and shit like that. It's not the same. You're good to go. That'll solve all the problems. So you might be thinking to yourself, is the solution just to play on last gen, on the current gen version of NBA 2K21? Answer's a clear no. Everybody got their strike packs and modded controllers. You can hop <laughs> on there, these the niggas. experience is going to be riddled with hackers <laughs> and people trying to ruin the experience. Expose so if these next niggas. gen is our only option, what could the devs do to solve it? I think the biggest issue they made was having the city be one massive server. If they're going to be affiliations, they should have had separate servers and load mass people into those separate servers and Facts, go a door or something to get into the next lobby for the next affiliation. But more than all of that, the entire gaming experience should be optimized for fun. I've been asking for a proximity chat for years now, and I've never gotten a good reason as to why it's not added in NBA 2K. You're in a city amongst people, and you can't talk to them unless you're in a party with them. That makes no sense to me. Mm. So simple features like that that I know Expose would make a magnificent niggas. difference and just the fun factor of the game are not added. And that fans across the entirety of the game. A lot of opportunities are missed. I don't know why. This is not the worst 2K of all time. This is one of the best 2Ks when it comes to brand new content they're adding to the game. In terms of replay value, this is one of the worst 2Ks. But in terms of content, it's one of the better 2Ks. It's kind of hard to balance, but it's up there when it comes to content, in terms of like new things they added, but there's no reason to actually play. So that's what a game's about. 2K, your game is not fun right now. You need to add some fun into your game, and that's a difficult thing to do. I get it. The community's saying one thing here and the next thing there. And really, no one's ever happy with the current version of the game. People only reflect years past and say, man, I really enjoyed NBA 2K19. But me personally, I'm a guy that works beyond franchise fatigue and recency bias. When 2K19 was out, I said it was one of the best 2Ks of all time. I believe that. When 2K16 was out, I said it was the best 2K of all time. I believe that. And that was amongst everybody telling me how bad of a game it was because of this, this, and this. I could see through that. And let's be honest with each other, man. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just not having too much fun making the 2K-related stuff. There's no coincidence that your favorite 2K creators also have second and third channels now because the trajectory of 2K is going like this. We're a couple months into the 2K21 mm. cycle, and people just don't care anymore. People aren't playing at the parks People aren't playing wreck and things like that. It's just not fun. NBA 2K21 Next Gen objectively Nigga got is a not doom in the back. Game. I know that now, and I know that'll be the case in 10 years when we look back at this day. But please, you need to do something to make the game playing experience enjoyable, rewarding, and most importantly, fun for everyone. I, I, I actually think it's unsavable by this point. I think there's too much irreversible damage. Nothing. <laughs> I, yeah, nothing. Because they're not gonna add dribble moves. They're not gonna change like not nothing. <laughs> don't don't get me started on 2K22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this nigga. <laughs> Why AJ never do nothing with his hair? I don't know. 2K, you've been given many suggestions on how to make this game shooter. a better experience to play. And it feels like the grand ideas, you just have to wait till next year. And the small ideas are still not. Yeah, I don't trust anymore. that nigga. Peter. And on top of that, the communication is non existent, 2K. We don't know when the next update is going to happen. It's been over a month, and there's just some glaring issues with the game that have yet to be acknowledged, let alone addressed. And so you've, you have options. You hear the community feedback. And I know the community manager. Would y'all trust that nigga, Peter? and all those guys they really that feedback to developers and so it's on the developers to let us know what's going on with the game because as of right now 
people aren't. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.